Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Medical Maz and today Oh the hair flip today <laughs> So you've already seen the title. I'm just gonna address what worked for me What didn't work and keep it moving. So Let's get into it. When I was in medical school, I used active recall and I think a lot of you have seen a lot of videos about active recall and how a lot of people use it. Let me tell you, I was one of those people that used active recall, but I didn't know <laughs> I was using active recall to study. Um, so here's my breakdown of how I actually used it and how it worked for me, how I would constantly pass those difficult exams. <laughs> anatomy medicine surgery <laughs> okay surgery was mm -mm, the devil but let's get into so it here's what I would do let me think of a topic because I want to use it with a topic so that it makes more sense so let's um let's use nephrology um nephrotic syndrome <laughs> god we have come a long way for me to use nephrology as an example, we have come. Wow, brain, we have come. <laughs> Anyways, let's get into it. So, using nephrology, let's just use it. So, for example, in class, what I would do, I would not take notes. Well, I hated taking notes because I was just like, mm -mm -mm. so what I would do basically is I would go for this class, internal medicine. We're doing nephrology. Nephrotic syndrome comes up. I would write the questions down. So, for example, in nephrotic syndrome, I wouldn't write the definition of nephrotic syndrome is blah, 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 as my notes. What I basically do is I would write what is nephrotic syndrome? What are the clinical signs of nephrotic syndrome? How do you investigate nephrotic syndrome? How do you manage nephrotic syndrome? That's how I would write the questions as they're being taught to me in class. And what I would do after class, I used to have block studying for every, um, every lecture that I would have during that day for example I would have medicine in the morning then I have maybe surgery uh, mid-morning then I have another one so I would then have block studying in the evening for those specific subjects take um, the questions for nephrology which are for nephrotic syndrome that I had and then answer them on how I remember things from class <laughs> so I'll try and answer them to how I would remember things in class if I get them correct I would put them in a block to say I've gotten the definition right I've gotten the investigations right I've gotten the um, management right maybe I'm missing the clinical signs so what I would do is I would then create mnemonics now what would I be without mnemonics so what I would do is I would create these mnemonics. So for a perfect example for clinical clinical signs of nephrotic syndrome is H O H O P A. So which is basically jojoba. You know you gotta create. You gotta be. You know you gotta create some things. Uh, but I didn't create that one. This one was created by my consultant. I'm just using that one. So this one actually helps a lot because you'll remember that the clinical signs are hypertension or edema hematuria then another oliguria um then a put uh, proteinuria and then azotemia that's how like i would do it to the um questions i wouldn't get correct i'll create mnemonics right away next block studying what i would basically do is i'll take some papers um just blank ones uh and then what i'll do is i'll just dump everything that i know and see what exactly is in my brain and what is not then i'll look at whether it's a book whether it's a video that i'm using for reference i would then take that and see what was right and continue like that then comes my favorite part teaching <laughs> so one of my favorite things to do when studying oh i still do up to now is teaching i love teaching because i think it's the best way to know if you're learning right if you know the correct things if you're if you're just leaning on to the same things that you know so teaching 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 amazing works so now what i would do is i would have my my couch my tv my dining room whatever it was in that room i would give them names simone maria michelle kelly whoever it is so what i would do is i'll ask them questions basically I'm talking to myself 
if you haven't caught up but i'm talking to myself whilst teaching these um the furniture around me and what i'll basically do is ask the question so for example let's just use another one how uh what is nephrotic syndrome so if i ask what is nephrotic syndrome and my furniture gives me a subpar answer i'll be like no this is how you answer it because now i'm correcting myself maybe i've given myself a subpar answer but in the midst of me saying that subpar answer i realize that girl you missed out important information then i'll be like okay as your teacher i I think you missed out on this and uh, I would correct myself and continue to do that so the teaching aspect really helped me a lot grasp a lot of things because now I am saying these things out loud for my brain and I'm making sure that it makes sense and the things that I don't know I would continuously repeat and repeat and repeat and this was a long process I don't want to lie to you the teaching was a very intricate part of this whole um, active recall that I used to do after um, after the the teaching I would now then still put the list of the questions that I kept on getting wrong and I would then do flashcards of the things that I I don't remember flashcards diagrams Venn diagrams um, drawings whatever I could do to have it right in my face so for example in my bedroom I would then have a diagram of literally what I was getting wrong all the time so when I wake up I see it I'm like I see you I wake up and I see it I'm like okay mm-hmm mm -hmm, that's the management that is the management <laughs> and the same thing with diagrams if I do, if I do a diagram I'll stick it on the wall and see it every single time when I wake up so that I'll just remember like girl it is not that so yeah I'll continuously do that I also forgot to mention when I was talking about teaching I used to record myself voice <laughs> memos not video because that would just be awkward um, but I would <laughs> but I would record voice memos I would then listen to them when I go to sleep it's a hard life <laughs> It's a hard life. So I would listen to them when I go to sleep so that like at least they keep playing and I'm like, oh, that's the part. That's the part. The last thing that I would do were practice tests. So these, some people would have these immediately. Like after reviewing, they'll have them immediately. But what I did, I would do them on Saturdays and Sundays. So I left my Saturdays and Sundays open for questions. I did have a social life, but I'm just saying, like, there are blocks that I created for just, um, for just practice tests. So what I would do is probably, like for example, I've talked about that week would have done maybe parts of nephrotic syndrome. Um, so then I would go and then now take some questions of nephrotic syndrome. Like I'm specifically talking about just a specific topic or subtopic. I would take questions from past papers, um, review papers, whatever it was, and then repeat doing them. So I'm doing just nephrotic, uh, nephrotic syndrome questions throughout that study, um, that practice session block that it would just like when I'm done, I'll be like, okay you're done you know what nephrotic syndrome is and if you ever forget oh um, you got spirits <laughs> demons my guy but like to just be honest like it really helped me a lot and it pushed me to work extremely hard every single day some courses you'd be like ah oh, you are probably see you two three weeks out before the exam because it was just easy but for for uh, courses like surgery internal medicine uh, pediatrics obstetrics and gynecology sweetie you don't want to be doing that <laughs> you don't want to be doing that i hope you use this technique for yourself i hope you if you're already using it keep doing it, it, it it'll get you far it'll get you places <laughs> keep doing it sweetie i mean other people can do this reading for like 10 hours i just i'm not built like that i couldn't have studying for that long is not for me I I cannot do it <laughs> so I'd rather find alternatives if we're all getting 100% at the end of the day who cares about the process <laughs> we're all getting there right as long as we're not killing each other or doing some yeah some sinister stuff to get there but all that matters is keep doing you and if you do active recall man it's a fun way to study. I won't even lie to you. If you've gotten to this part of the video, that means you've watched the whole thing. You are a rock star. And I love that for you. And I love that for me. Until next time.
Peace. Literally. Bye.